Hi everyone, Aaron Ninnis here, your loan pro in Denver, Colorado, with another episode of How Much Mortgage Can I Afford? Today's episode, we're going to talk about the simple math you can use to quickly figure out differences in mortgage payments while you're looking at homes. So from home to home, how do you figure out what the different prices would do to your payment? Before we dive in though, keep in mind, we are a local lender, more than happy to help anyone with their home purchase. You can visit financemedenver.com for more information. Also, if you like the information, give us a like, make sure you subscribe, keep getting this free content delivered to you every week. Otherwise, let's get ready to dive into how much mortgage you can afford. All right, so today's episode, we're talking about your mortgage payment and how it's influenced by variances and things like property taxes, insurance, and of course, price while you're out looking from home to home. Now, the important thing to keep in mind here is that when you go out to look for a home, you need to start with a good quote from your lender uh, that really outlines what they're using for taxes, insurance, and home price. The reason that's important is because property taxes are different from home to home. Very rarely are they identical. So as you go and look at these different homes, you need to account for what those tax differences are. So in uh, the the case of a $350,000 home, if you were doing a 10% down conventional mortgage, we would assume in that case that your homeowner's insurance was $125 a month and maybe your property taxes are $150 a month or $1,800 annually. If you went and looked at a home that was $2,400 annually, your property taxes are going up $50 a month. The $50 mark is important because in general, you can assume that for every $10,000 you go up or down on your budget, it's going to increase that payment 50 to $60 a month. So in cases where you would go up to a higher uh, a home with a higher tax rate, it's totally plausible that you would want to back that down on how much you would be looking at for a home price to offset the increase in taxes and make sure that you're getting to your budget as you were hoping. Now, $1,000 is easy to say then, also five or $6. That's really helpful when you're making your offer. If you were in a competitive situation and you need to offer 1,000 or 2,000 or $3,000 over asking price, every time you went up 1,000, you are increasing your monthly payment by five or $6. It's not exact math, but it's really close and certainly in a position where you would feel comfortable going into that uh, uh, contract and knowing what that would change your actual mortgage. Hopefully that answers your question on some simple quick math that you can use to better field your mortgage questions while you're out in the world. And as I mentioned before, working with a lender upfront to make sure you know what that looks like is one of the most important things you could do. Again, you're welcome to visit financemedever.com and find out information on working with myself and my team. Otherwise, keep watching these episodes, learning everything you can, and we'll see you on another episode of How Much Mortgage Can I Afford?